Hey there, it's Ev here and today I'm going to be talking about how I plan using a system called Horizons uh, so that I'm always looking ahead and I'm never falling behind in any tasks hopefully so let's get into it well welcome back it is another year 2022 another year to jump into some cool videos around productivity around self-improvement around how i work and today i thought i'd share a really quick video um, on how i do planning in notion this is how i set up pretty much every workspace if it has anything to do with dates and i named it horizons because it's kind of like you kind of like see like a lead up to like what's happening this week next week three weeks from now four weeks from now later than now all right so this is a really quick uh little demo page called horizons and basically it has a whole lot of dates and so like and this can be set up with any kind of date um Tape, uh, date database okay so um, I've just got some you know dates here and basically like yes you could have a calendar feature to be honest I use the calendar feature like pretty much never I just find that I can I, it, it has pretty irrelevant information it, it doesn't wrap the text I can't really see very much that kind of thing and then like if something's down here I have to scroll you know quite often so what I do instead is I go to a table now you could use a list as well I also um, sometimes will use a list to see this um, I suppose if you're working in a board you could probably use it but it, it works with the group feature so any any of the views you can use and we're just going to group it first what we need to do is we're going to create a new column and we are going to go formula all right so what's going to happen here is and I stole this um, so I am not a formula person um, but a notioneer has this great date formula that actually takes a date and formats it into what week it is okay so you can see like if it's this week or next week or two weeks three weeks four weeks you can see all of that so basically I'm going to paste that in here all right so you can see here uh, we have our formula and basically it's just based on the date so I always name the date column date if you have a different date column just name the column date and then if you change this let's say you had like a release date if you were like doing social media automatically changes it in there easiest way to do it but anyway I'm just gonna call this date and then what I then do is I use the new grouping feature so I basically go group and we go by horizons and then you have to go exact because if you go alphabetical you just get the one letter so you go exact and then what will happen is they will show up and then I just change the sort to manual usually I, I don't want to see the no horizons because I always put dates in and then you have I just rearrange it so this week next week and there's later dates in there as well and so you can see here now it looks like a, a horizon so you're seeing everything that's happening this week everything that's happening next week everything that's happening kind of later like next month that kind of thing so I find this really really helpful to see at a glance what do I have on um, I often use this with a filter like um, I'll just say horizons and this week so I only ever see like things that are coming up this week that kind of thing um, and and that just helps me one stay focused on just things that are happening this week but also see things that are coming up in the future and so I know like if I'm doing um, an event or something I know okay that particular task is coming up next week I should start to look into it or, or should start to do this or as things are kind of are coming up so um, I find it just a really great way to stay on top of things you can use this for things like social media planning event planning even just your task list just knowing kind of those start and stop times I I always plan in weeks just because I find like it's a great little sprint I know everything that I'm doing this week it's contained I don't need to worry if you follow the GDT system you'll do a weekly review and so you're looking at everything that's happening this week everything that's happening next week everything that's happening in the next month and so that's kind of how I work 
in these horizons. Guys, I hope that was really helpful. It's just a super short one to show you how I plan using horizons in Notion uh, with the grouping feature and a really great from formula for a notion here. So guys, if you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be bringing you more videos like this every week. Uh, and we're going to have a great time doing it.